Well, Campbell, here we are in Zimbabwe. How nice is it to get the lads together for pre-season? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I think um, you know the veterans, the first-year players, whoever you are, coaches. Um, you know, that first day outdoors is so exciting, and you can feel there's a real buzz around the group. Um, look, I, th I think our pre-season has been fantastic back in Durham, um, but this is just to top us off really, and you know, get outdoors and good. Um, conditions. Um, yeah, it was really impressive to see what's going on. Zimbabwe, it's a country you visited before with the Netherlands. How nice is it as a, of a place is it to come into it? Oh, Zimbabwe is a great place. I, you know, I, I'll always speak very highly of, of this place and, you know, not only just for comfort cricket, but just as a, a place, really. You know, some of the sites and, and the people are always friendly. Um, so, yeah, so when we had the opportunity to come, uh, hopefully this is the first of many times, you know, I know the guys came a couple of years ago during COVID or when COVID broke out, um, but they were pretty keen to come back. So it, it's already made a really good impression on them. Um, and hopefully, like I say, we're here for 18 days and we're going to work hard and play some games, but hopefully this is the, the first of many trips. And let's go back to January when you started with Durham. How pleased are you with what you've seen over this first yeah, winter training block. Yeah, and look, I, I didn't really know what to expect when I came. Obviously, I'd done my research and knew about players, but until you get in there and see them at work, um, you know, their, their work ethic and their skill sets and stuff. And again, indoors, is, it can hide a few things and you sort to ask a few questions, but just to see what went on today in our first outdoor net sessions, I think everyone should be very excited. The, the, the bowling attack that we have, the batters looking really good, Nick. Um, you know, I just think that we've got the skill set to be very successful and, and th th there's no excuses for us not to be. You touched on day one, our first session today. You, you must be delighted with, with what you've seen so far today. Yeah, 100%. I, I literally couldn't help keep a smile off my face really um, you know especially from the fast bowlers you know watching Potts and Cast go about their work but then Glover, Coughlin, uh, Rain, Gibson you know these blokes were charging in and um, it, it also showed that we've got a, a variety in our attack there are some blokes with genuine pace but then we have some really skillful bowlers as well so look I think we all know you've got to take 20 wickets to win games of cricket I think we've got that. If we can keep bowlers on the park, fit and healthy, I've no doubt we can take 20 wickets in a, in a match. And if we can do that enough times, we're going to win. And if we get enough points, we're, you know, we win the, win the title. In terms of this 18 days, just tell the Durham fans back home what we can expect over the next 18 days. Well, you're going to see the start of what our brand of cricket is going to be. I, th I think, um, you know, after these days, everyone will know all right, that's how we're going to go about it. And, you know, I think it's going to be exciting. I think there is going to be a, a no fear based approach to our game of cricket. Um, you know, the players are here to let their skills be. You know, I, I never want them to fear failure, um, but I just want them to embrace the challenge, enjoy each other's success. And yeah, like I say, I, I think Durham fans have got something very, very special to look forward to. And I guess our 2023 season really kicks off tomorrow, three day game against the southern, southern team of Zimbabwe. Yeah. What can we expect from them three days and what's, what's your plan of action? Mate, we're going to try and win the game. You know, I don't care if it's only three days, we're going to be attacking and, you know, with our decision if we win the toss or, you know, our declaration, whatever it is. Um, my only question I ask the players to they keep asking each other is how can we win this game of cricket? So, um, you know, I think in all honesty, you're going to see some excitement. Um, and that's that will also incorporate at times when we're under pressure, absorbing that pressure and then pushing back when we can. So look, like I say, I think we've named a really strong team for tomorrow um, and I expect them to play really well. Touching on that team for tomorrow, is that looking ahead to the Sussex game, or are you still is it still open in terms of that that first that first eleven come, come? No, I think I still think there's still some positions up for grabs, and that that's going to be um, a contest, which I love. Um, in the past, I think you would you might say that well, the eleven pick themselves, but that's not the case anymore. There, there's legitimately two or three positions anyone can take if if they're playing well. So. That to me is the excitement and, and the depth of talent we brought in, the, the Glovers, Delaters, you know, Bushnell's just got back from Australia and looks in really good form. 
Um, you know, you've got Clark who's pushing for, for a spot. Then you've got McKinney who's been unbelievable in the under-19s for England. So um, there are players pushing for position. And like any elite sporting team, it's going to be cutthroat. And, um, you know, I guess I'm going to have to be the bad guy at some point to, to make that final decision along with, you know, Marcus and the captains. But um, the good thing for me is if there's that healthy competition for places, you know that Durham's in a good position. You mentioned Buzz Lid and Brandon Glover there, two players that you've brought in over the winter. Why was it that you wanted to bring them two cricketers to Durham? Oh, I, obviously, I'd seen so much of them in, you know, playing for the Netherlands, and I think they're an exciting, they bring an exciting skill set. You know, obviously, they're both very well known in the white ball games, but I, mean, I think they can be exceptional red ball cricketers. And, you know, Delato gives us variety. He can legitimately open the bowling and, and bat in the top six, which we all know those all-rounders all are worth their price of gold. And, you know, Brandon brings pace and, and that's what also I love about it. And he's, he's attacking, he's aggressive. So um, I, I think the Durham faithful, honestly, they're going to be very excited to see those two guys play about it. But what that also does is put pressure on other guys who also must be performing to, to keep their places. So, um, like I say, we now have some really tough decisions to make ahead of us. Um, but again, we'll go through and play. Everyone will get opportunities here. And then we've got, what, a three-day game against Durham University and a two-day against Yorkshire back home where I guess that will be the final throw of the dice for some of these guys. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a few sleepless nights ahead. Touching on two new additions, we also announced Tristan Stubbs joining for the T20 Blast just a couple of weeks ago. What a signing he's going to be? Oh, mate, he's very exciting. Um, you know, we were lucky enough again uh, in the Netherlands to watch him play. He played club cricket in the Netherlands, and few people don't know this, but he's actually Dutch. So he almost played for the Netherlands. So, you know, I was trying to move heaven and earth to get him to play, and we were almost there, but. You know, from what we've seen, obviously, him playing for South Africa, he's been absolutely outstanding. And that's the, again, wanted to change the mindset of our T20 team. We wanted to bring some excitement. We wanted to bring some power hitting into that middle order. And um, I just think fans are going to be un enjoy what he do brings, not only with the bat, but you're going to have him in the field. You're going to have Delater in the field. You're going to have maybe Bushnell in the field, Coggle. We all know that makes us one of the best fielding teams in the world, hopefully. So... You know, they're the standards that we all know we need to bring to be a successful T20 team. And just finally come board, this trip isn't just about the cricket. We've got three days away with team building. How important is it that the guys get that team building ahead of the season? Oh, of course, you know, these are the, the moments where you get to know each other. You know, I know this squad's been together for some time, but every year we're, ha we're adding to that squad and the depth. But you do have to get to know each other and, and what makes you tick and because in elite sport, things go bad. And when those the chips are down, you need to know that your mate next to you's got your back and you've always got his. And you know, these days, enjoying a couple of beers or just you know, talking about how we're gonna play the game and, and what we want from each other, it, it is vital in all, in all honesty. So uh, I'm looking forward to those couple of days. We'll see a few sites in Zimbabwe while we're there. And you know, obviously a bit of relaxing. It's probably our last opportunity to have a bit of a, uh, a relax as well. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a really exciting time.